He is a well-known Chicago muralist who is inspiring the next generation of artists with After School Matters. Joining us now is Eric Rojo Garcia, who's making his mark in the city and on our show. He's creating a spotlight painting live today. Look, Look at that. Rojo. Thank wow. you very much for having me. Oh, my goodness. All right, so tell us a little bit about why you help out with After School Matters and why it's important. Of course, After School Matters is amazing. First of all, I've been with them over 10 years. Wow. And, uh, I learn every year from the students, from the teens all across Chicago. So I've taught at the North Side location at the Lutz Center, and I'm currently teaching at Gately on the 103rd in Cottage Grove. And so, yeah, I mean, after school matters is great for many reasons. One is the fact that they're able to give stipends to teens. And so it's basically like a job opportunity for them. They get to get real life experience of different types of projects depending on the type of instructor Look you have. Look at this, we're showing video, and, uh, of a, is this a oh, mural? Oh yeah, yes, this is the one we worked on at the Lutz Center. So wow. this was uh, designed by the teens uh, and I composed it into a structure where we can actually paint it inside. This was during the heat of the summer. Wow. So we were lucky enough to like paint it inside in sections so it becomes like a big puzzle piece for them. And so you can kind of see the measurements and kind of going as best as one can depending on the space that, that was available. And so these are the teens. A lot of them, this was their first time painting a mural, which is always exciting for me uh, and for them as well when they get to see it when it's finally finished. And you guys have yeah. done some high profiles. You guys worked with NASCAR to do a mural? Yes, we did. Recently, yes, we, we partnered up with uh, NASCAR uh, this past summer. Uh, downtown, we did a 200 foot long mural, uh, which was painted at the Gately Center. And uh, it was the largest mural I've ever been a part of. And so the teens, when they were able to go on site, on location to see it all completed, oh, was amazing. It was just awesome. one of those things that, you know, you, you remember. You Absolutely. Know. And Rojo, just give us like a Cliff Notes version of like your journey as an artist. I mean, you've like been all over, right? For sure. Yes, absolutely. So my background was in uh, the hip hop culture. So mm -hmm. I, I was into break dancing. I was into graffiti. Now I'm a DJ. So it's like the, all those elements are, <laughs> are what inspires me as a creative. And I, I bring that in the classroom as much as I can. So background was in uh, graffiti, like I mentioned doing a couple murals, learning as I go, and then from what I've learned, I basically bring to the classroom. So it's basically, say for example, if I'm talking to a client a week or two prior to my class, I bring it and I discuss oh, it with my they students. They are so lucky to have so, you. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you guys working on now? For right now, currently, uh, it's, it's pretty much passion projects. Yeah. So my students all have to come up with what they're passionate about and how are they able to present it to other class and to like the members of the building at Gately. So it could be different. So even though my class is called Advanced Visual Arts uh -huh. at Gately, it doesn't necessarily have to be portraits. It can be spoken word. If you like oh. to sing, I encourage them to it's do all the what, arts. Yes, wow. absolutely. So it, it's this primarily is visual arts, but depending on the team that I have, I want them to focus on what they are good at, you know, naturally, totally. so and bring cool. that out. All right, so we've got to get you started here. It so looks like you're passionate about us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you were telling me I was going to paint this. I yeah, thought y'all were going to paint this. Well, so I don't want to ruin brought, it, but if you want us to try. I brought some random brushes, but uh, so for cool. the most part. And we see that, like, like, he took the yes. logo here. That's mm -hmm. awesome. So All right. Th this is just how I instruct with my students. Okay. So for the most part, you have your reference. Uh -huh. Very important to have a really good reference. Sure. And and you have your canvas and so okay. it basically becomes a paint by number type okay. of thing but it's that easy it's that easy <laughs> I mean, do you need us to help you what do you want no, us I to mean, do if you would like to grab a okay. brush all right yeah. you can do the starting point okay. basically so we have you can about have, 30 seconds yeah to get so started grab here. the blue one you can grab this th okay. uh, more teal oh, okay. and looking at oh. your reference Look at my reference. I'm at the bottom. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay. Where, where, where the colors go, oh and they gosh, just kind of so match nervous. it as much what as you can. What color is this? I don't know what color so, this is. Yeah. Hmm. This is more of a teal. This is uh, top. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah. Let me just uh -huh. paint on Switch. top there of we you. Go. Switch. Okay. How are we doing so far? And the beauty is you can't really mess up. If you oh, feel like you've made that. a mistake, yeah. uh -huh. you can just let it dry and paint right uh, over it. And that's I, the beauty of painting. Do you this feel is like awesome. We could <laughs> mess up. Well, but. wow. Okay. Well, Rojo, come over here. We're going to yeah, yeah. let you yes. finish this oh, because sure. we don't want to okay. mess it up. So yes. if you want to learn more about mm -hmm. Rojo, his After School Matters program, we have all of that on your page right now. After schoolmatters.org. Should we be checking in yes. with Rojo now? If you missed so. it at the beginning of our show, Rojo started a right. painting for us. He is at After School Matters <gasps> teaching kids how to do murals, and you did one Gosh. yourself for us. Rojo, as oh we were goodness. talking. <laughs> what what is it? What this is, is it? Incredible. <laughs> this is so beautiful. 
It's an the, expression of the logo that you guys have the here. Shading. <laughs> the shading. Come, come, step over here for no, a second, just so, so that way we can see it. Right here, right here. Yes. You want to get yeah, yeah, right yeah. here? Yeah. Tell us what you did here. A little shading. The yeah. Colors. So started with the outline, just a pencil outline, and uh -huh. then of course y'all did the heavy lifting for me. Sure, y'all did sure a lot did. of Thank painting you. on there. Thank you for noticing all yeah. of our hard work of course, during this. Of course, <laughs> recognition. And then I just went ahead and did the final brush strokes to really just amplify the painting as, as much as one can. So it's not. Obviously, an uh, identical replica, but it's more love of an it. abstract version, something with a bit more enthusiasm. I you know it. what? You've forgotten one thing. What's we that? need your signature yes. on this, sir. Give oh, us a signature? Roll. Yes, yes. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely. Thanks. That is fantastic. Thank and for you anyone so watching much. who missed earlier, you can check out uh, Rojo with After School Matters. He's teaching kids how to do this stuff. This is just so cool. So it's cool. official. Oh, amazing. <laughs> That's it for us today. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 3 p.m. And thanks to Rojo. Thank you for having me. Thank, Thank you. you.